Download this code from codegive.com, link in the description below. How to fix the problem parsing the package error on your Fire Stick, a comprehensive guide. The problem parsing the package error on your Fire Stick is a frustrating issue that prevents you from installing applications, often through side loading, installing apps from outside the Amazon App Store. This error essentially means your Fire Stick is having trouble understanding the APK, Android Package Kit, file you're trying to install. This guide will walk you through the likely causes of this error and provide a step-by-step -step breakdown of solutions, ranging from simple fixes to more advanced troubleshooting. We'll cover file integrity, APK compatibility, storage space, Android debug bridge, ADB, methods, and more. Understanding the error Before we dive into the solutions, let's understand what's actually happening. The Android operating system, on which the Fire Stick is based, uses APK files to package and distribute applications. When you try to install an APK, the system needs to parse, interpret, the file's contents, verifying its structure, dependencies, and compatibility. The problem parsing the package error arises when this process fails. Common Causes one corrupted APK file asterisk the most frequent cause. The APK file may have been damaged during download or transfer. Two incomplete download asterisk similar to a corrupted file, a partially downloaded APK is incomplete and will fail to parse. Three incompatible APK asterisk the APK might not be designed for the Fire Stick's specific architecture, example ARMv7, ARM64, or Android version. Fire Sticks run a modified version of Android, and not all Android apps are compatible. For insufficient storage space asterisk the Fire Stick might not have enough free storage space to decompress and install the APK. 5 Incorrect file permissions asterisk if you're using ADB, incorrect file permissions on the transferred APK can prevent installation. 6. ADB issues asterisk problems with ADB configuration, connection, or command syntax can lead to parsing errors. 7. Old or outdated system software asterisk occasionally, an outdated Fire Stick operating system can cause parsing issues. 8. App signature issues asterisk the APK may not be properly signed, or the signature is corrupted. While less common, it's still a possibility. Troubleshooting Steps, a step-by-step -step guide. Follow these steps in order, starting with the simplest solutions first. 1. Verify the APK file's integrity asterisk asterisk. This is the first and most crucial step. You need to confirm that the APK file itself is not corrupted. Asterisk redownload the APK asterisk go back to the original source, website, app store, and download the APK file again. A fresh download often resolves corruption issues. Choose a different mirror if available. Asterisk check the file size asterisk compare the file size of the downloaded APK with the file size listed on the source website. Significant discrepancies suggest a corrupted or incomplete download. Use a file manager on your Fire Stick or a computer to check the file size. Asterisk use an MD5 or SHA checksum, advanced many websites that distribute APKs provide MD5 or SHA checksums. These are unique fingerprints of the file. You can use a checksum utility to verify that the downloaded APK matches the expected checksum. Asterisk on a computer asterisk use tools like MD5SUM, Linux slash Mac OS, or cert util hash file file name MD5, Windows. Replace file name with the actual APK file name. Asterisk example, Linux slash Mac OS. The output will be a long string of hexadecimal characters. Compare this to the checksum provided by the source. Asterisk example, Windows. Again, 
compare the output with the source's checksum. If the checksums don't match, your APK is definitely corrupted and needs to be re-downloaded from a trusted source. 2. Check APK compatibility asterisk asterisk. Make sure the APK is designed for the Fire Sticks architecture and Android version. Asterisk architecture, ARMv7, ARM64, x86 Fire Sticks typically use ARM processors. If the APK is specifically built for x86, Intel slash AMD processors, it won't work. Most apps designed for Android phones are ARM compatible, but double check if the app's specifications mention it. ARM64 is the 64 bit version of the ARM architecture and is often compatible with ARMv7 devices. Asterisk Android version Asterisk The Fire Stick runs a specific version of Android. Try to find APKs that are compatible with the Fire Sticks version or earlier versions. You can find your Fire Sticks Android version in settings My Fire TV about software version. The Android version is often listed indirectly, for example, Fire OS 7 is based on Android 9. Asterisk consider using APK mirror asterisk APK mirror https slash slash www.appmirror.com slash https colon slash slash www.apkmirror.com is a reputable source for APKs. It often provides multiple versions of an app, including versions tailored to different Android versions and architectures. Look for versions specifically mentioning ARM 7 or ARM 64 for better compatibility. 3. Free up storage space asterisk asterisk. Insufficient storage space is a common culprit. Asterisk check storage asterisk go to settings my fire TV about storage. See how much free space you have. You need enough space to decompress and install the APK, plus room for the app to run. Asterisk uninstall unused apps asterisk uninstall any apps you no longer use. Asterisk go to settings applications manage installed applications. Asterisk select the app you want to uninstall. Asterisk click uninstall. Asterisk clear app data and cache asterisk sometimes, app data and cache can consume a significant amount of storage. Asterisk go to settings applications manage installed applications. Asterisk select the app. Asterisk click clear data and clear cache. Warning asterisk clearing data will reset the app to its default state, removing your login information and settings. Asterisk move apps to external storage, if supported if your Fire Stick supports external storage, example via a USB drive, you can move some apps to the external storage. Note that not all apps can be moved. Asterisk go to settings applications manage installed applications. Asterisk select the app. Asterisk if the move to USB storage option is available, click it. 4. Properly enable installation from unknown sources asterisk asterisk. Asterisk go to settings my Fire TV developer options. Asterisk make sure apps from unknown sources is set to on. If it's already on, toggle it off and then back on. This can sometimes reset the setting and resolve issues. 5. Reinstall the downloader app, if applicable. If you're using the downloader app to sideload, sometimes reinstalling it can help. Asterisk uninstall downloader, go to settings applications manage installed applications downloader uninstall. Asterisk reinstall downloader, search for downloader in the Amazon App Store and install it. 6. Troubleshooting with ADB, Android Debug Bridge More Advanced. ADB allows you to connect to your Fire Stick from a computer and install APKs directly via command line tools. This gives you more control and often provides more detailed error messages. Asterisk prerequisites asterisk. Asterisk computer asterisk you'll need a computer, 
Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Asterisk ADB tools asterisk download and install the Android SDK platform tools or a minimalist ADB installation, search online for minimal ADB and fastboot. These tools contain the ADB command line utility. Asterisk USB cable, optional, but recommended a USB cable is more reliable than a network connection for ADB. You'll need a micro USB to USB A cable. Not all Fire Sticks have a micro USB port accessible for ADB. The Fire TV Cube and some older Fire Stick models do. If you have a Fire Stick without a port, you must use ADB over Wi-Fi, described below. Asterisk enable ADB debugging on your Fire Stick asterisk. Asterisk go to settings my Fire TV developer options. Asterisk enable ADB debugging. Asterisk if you don't see developer options, go to settings my Fire TV about and click on the about section 7 times. This will enable developer options. Asterisk connect to your Fire Stick via ADB asterisk. Asterisk USB connection, recommended. 1. Connect your Fire Stick to your computer using the USB cable. 2. Open a command prompt or terminal window on your computer. 3. Navigate to the directory where you installed the ADB tools, example cdc colon backslash program files, x86, backslash android backslash android sdk backslash platform tools on windows. 4. Type the following command and press enter. You might see a prompt on your fire stick asking you to allow USB debugging from your computer. Allow it. 5. The ADB Devices command should now list your Fire Stick as a connected device. If it shows unauthorized, unplug and replug the USB cable, and ensure you authorize the connection on the Fire Stick. Asterisk ADB over Wi-Fi asterisk. 1. On your Fire Stick, go to Settings My Fire TV About Network. Note down the IP address of your Fire Stick. Example 192.168.1.10 2. Open a command prompt or terminal window on your computer. 3. Navigate to the directory where you installed the ADB tools. 4. Type the following command and press enter, replacing 192.168.1.10 with your Fire Stick's actual IP address. You might see a prompt on your Fire Stick asking you to allow ADB debugging from your computer. Allow it. 5. Verify the connection with ADB devices. It should list your Fire Stick as a connected device. Asterisk install the APK using ADB asterisk. 1. In your command prompt or terminal, use the following command to install the APK. Replace slash path slash to slash your slash app apk with the actual path to your apk file on your computer. For example, to examine the output asterisk adb will print detailed output to the command prompt slash terminal. Carefully read the output for any error messages. This is crucial for diagnosing the problem. Common adb errors related to parsing include Asterisk install underscore failed underscore invalid underscore apk, usually indicates a corrupted or incomplete apk file. Asterisk install underscore failed underscore missing underscore shared underscore library, the app requires a shared library that is not installed on the fire stick. Asterisk install underscore failed underscore no underscore matching underscore abis, the apk is not compatible with the fire stick's architecture. ARMv7, ARM64. Asterisk install underscore failed underscore insufficient underscore storage, not enough storage space. Asterisk install underscore failed underscore install underscore cancelled underscore by underscore user, you cancelled the installation on the fire stick. 3 example error and solution asterisk. If you see this clearly indicates that you've run out of storage space. You'll need to free up more space as described earlier. Asterisk example ADB command script, Windows. 
Save this as a .bat file, example install underscore apk .bat, edit the apk underscore path, adb underscore path, and device underscore ip variables, and then double click the batch file to run it. 7. Check file permissions, adb. If you're using adb and you transferred the apk to the fire stick storage, example using adb push, the file permissions might be incorrect. This is less common, but worth checking. 1. Transfer the apk asterisk. This copies the apk to the slash guard slash directory on the fire stick. 2. Connect to the adb shell asterisk. This opens a shell session on the fire stick. 3. Navigate to the directory where you transferred the apk asterisk. 4. Change the file permissions asterisk. This gives the apk read, write, and execute permissions for all users. While generally not recommended for security reasons on a general purpose system, it can help diagnose permission related issues on the fire stick in a controlled environment. 5. Exit the adb shell asterisk. 6. Try installing the APK again using the package manager within the Fire Stick settings or a file explorer. 8. Factory reset, last resort. If all else fails, a factory reset might be necessary. Warning asterisk this will erase all your data and settings on the Fire Stick, so back up anything important first. Asterisk go to settings my Fire TV about factory reset. Asterisk follow the on-screen instructions. 9. Update the system software asterisk asterisk. Ensure your Fire Stick is running the latest available software. Outdated software can sometimes cause compatibility issues. Asterisk go to settings my Fire TV about check for system update. Asterisk install any available updates. 10. Check for app signature issues. While rare, sometimes the APK might have an invalid or incorrect signature. Asterisk redownload from a trusted source. Asterisk this is the first step. Ensure the APK comes from a reputable source, minimizing the chance of a modified or tampered file. Asterisk use an APK signature verification tool. On your computer you can use command line tools or GUI applications to verify the APK signature. Asterisk key tool, included in JDK. If you have the Java development kit, JDK, installed, you can use the key tool command. Open a command prompt or terminal and navigate to the directory where you have the APK. Then run. This will display information about the certificate used to sign the APK. You can then compare this information, particularly the SHA-1 or SHA-256 fingerprint, with information provided by the app developer, if available. A mismatch suggests a tampered APK. Asterisk consider alternatives asterisk if signature verification consistently fails, and you're sure you're downloading from a trustworthy source, the problem might be with the app itself. Try an alternative app that provides similar functionality. Important considerations. Asterisk source of APKs asterisk always download APKs from trusted sources to avoid malware or viruses. Asterisk security asterisk be cautious when installing apps from unknown sources. Only install apps you trust. Asterisk legality asterisk ensure that you have the right to use the application you are installing, example you've purchased a license. By following these steps, you should be able to identify the cause of the problem parsing the package error and resolve it, allowing you to successfully install your desired applications on your Fire Stick. Remember to proceed systematically and carefully examine error messages to pinpoint the exact issue. Good luck.